Facebook and also Instagram right now. So, so if you see us looking off, it's because we either looking at one of the other cameras for the other social media. We ain't gotta look at nobody. So, we yeah. just look here. Well, anyways, I'm that nominal Ray. And I am Yasmin Iman. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> but we're coming to you with um, two questions that we actually have, and we've been asked these questions as well. So, you want to start with the questions, or you want me to start? With you them? start with the question. Okay, they're relationship um, questions, and the first question was, when dating, when should you basically get into a real relationship? How was was that it? No, it was... um. How long? Oh, how long should you date before getting into a get serious into a relationship? relationship? That was the question. And I, I asked a lot of my people on social media. Um, It was, what, what we said, six to seven months? No, what was it? Five to... um, Five, was it five? Oh, what was it? It was like five to six months or seven to 12 months or something like that. Yeah, it was like, I, I think it was more like three to five months or seven to um, 12 months. And most people were like 50-50 on my Instagram and also my Facebook page. So on my end, a lot of people, well, on my Facebook, a lot of people, it was 50-50 on Facebook. On Instagram, it was just like maybe five hey, months. Go million. Five months. So. Hey Dre. Hey hey hey. What's up? What's up? What's up? Um. So yeah. Honestly, me, I feel like it takes six months to know enough about a person. Like they're gonna give you their true colors with, within six months. So you feel like you should get into a serious relationship with with knowing them in six months? Why not? I mean, I'm just asking. Can I can I ask a question? It really it really depends as well too, but why not? I mean, with me, I feel like I feel like what you feel the, the same want to take it to that next level. Okay, why not? Yeah, you know, but I mean, that just, doesn't mean you know them well. Yeah. So I understand what she's saying too. That doesn't mean you know them well enough to be like, okay, well, let's get in a relationship. But too, you also learn people. More things about people in a relationship, even if you've known them over time, True. you still get to know new things, especially if you guys are living with each other or um, if you guys are pursuing each other as far as, you know, marriage, you learn more things as the relationship progresses. So. True. What's up, my people over here? Love y'all. What's up? What's up? So, um, what else do I say? <laughs> what are you going to say? Okay. So, <laughs> so, also, too, you know... Um, why dating somebody? Please communicate. I know that's like um, I don't know, cause I went through some things. Too no, no, that. no. But please, communication is very important. And if a guy or a woman, like if you just talking to them and they don't want to communicate at all, that's mm -hmm. like a red flag. Um, communication is so important because you need to know what they like, what they don't like. What are their goals? If they don't have any goals, let them go. Because you don't want to try to build with somebody that don't have goals or not trying to do anything or uplift you or y'all uplift each other because that's what a relationship is about. Yeah. Communication you know? is the key. Communication is the key. With anything. With anything. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. I don't know where they came in. I don't know. That was good information. I just had to throw that it in there. I mean, just... I'm just saying, why while dating, communicate. That's true. Throw something into it. God should be in a relationship. Yes, that God is should definitely God be in a relationship. I, I want a man who can bring me to God, closer to God. I know I can bring myself closer to God, but I want him to always to also be there to motivate me. You know what I'm saying? And steer me in that uh, way to have that relationship and to make sure that relationship stays. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I feel like that's important in, within a relationship. Because if God is not in a relationship, it's not going to work. If God is not in it, it's not going to win it. Right? No. And if we ain't going out, it ain't going to be 
Because <laughs> you got to go on a date or something. You got to do something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it you can't be lame days. or, you know, be that couple that always stay at home. Uh, cause you can't you can't learn each other. Just learn about each other just at the house. Baby like to travel. So, you know. Yeah, let's go travel. <laughs> let's go do something. Let's see some new things. All right. So what was the next question since I said the first question? I don't know. Do you remember? No, I don't. Why you? <laughs> she just wants me to do the next question, y'all. Are you dating? What? Are you dating others while getting to know that one? Ah, oh, I get what he's saying. He's saying, "Are you dating others?" That's a she. Why? Oh, she. Well, she. She's saying, "Are you dating others while you're dating them?" And we was talking. That was one of the questions too. That we no, that question is that question is different. But it was kind of like. I have issues with that. I feel like if we're just dating, why can't you date other people? But, 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 before y'all say something, but, Ooh, right. but, if we talk and we communicate, if that's where that communication comes in. If we talk and we're communicating and you tell me, well, hey, I feel like we, we should only be about each other and you don't want me stepping out talking to other people and the feeling is mutual and I feel like, you know, that's something that I can um, compromise with then. No, I wouldn't be talking to nobody else but that person. But how can you expect me to just talk to you only and you're not giving me anything? You know what I'm saying? When I'm saying not giving me anything, I'm saying you're not letting me know what you feel as far as our relationship or us trying to come together to have a relationship. So... So, let me make sure I get the question correct, y'all, because I kind of stumbled over the question. So, someone asked me the question about, do you feel like you're single? If Even if you're in a committed relationship, or even if you guys are engaged, do you still have that single mentality and feel like you can still do whatever you want to do until you're actually married and actually have that ring and become one with that person? So, it just you tell your story about what your mom said. That my goes mom with told me a long time ago. She may switch it up now if she heard the <laughs> conversation. But she always used to say, like, don't just give yourself to a man like that. If he got, you know, wait till he put a ring on your finger. If you don't have a ring on your finger, you would consider single and you can date whoever you want to date. No matter how to hold you down. That messes me up because if we are in a committed relationship, and you want to step out in a relationship, how can you even pursue me that way or say you want to be with me or marry like, me, even yeah. marry me, but you still have that single mentality and you feel like you're single? Now, I, I, now I know if, if the guy, like, if I know he finna, like, marry me or finna propose to me, if I know that, then, okay, cool. But I don't see nothing wrong with that in most In a committed relationship. You don't feel like that's not something wrong with that because it I would be in a on. No! Oh, well, they got half of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I was going to say, <laughs> Instagram is gone. Okay. I mean, it just really depends. It really depends. Now, if y'all, I don't know. It depends on how serious the relationship is, mm -hmm. like you said. So, I don't know.